how have you been? Oh, me? Just some sound advice from an unsound person. When your prescription comes in the mail monthly, take it. It's there to make you better. I will admit that the past four months, I have not taken my prescription. Ink flights. I have not opened, I believe that's February, if I have the months right. March, I opened, but I did not touch anything. April, not even opened. Didn't even look to see what's in there. And May, same business. We're at the tippity top, but as you see, not opened. And I'm just not feeling right. But worry not, I did go to the doctor. And by that, I mean the Twisby website. And I got a syringe and uh, some type of liquid apparatus for my syringe. So I can uh, pretty much take my medication. Uh, besides that, I did visit my favorite ink website, Venta. They came out with a new color line. So, of course, you know, had to get those. And one more. So besides my ink flights, uh, what I want to do today is uh, swatch those bad boys um, and play with the uh, Twisby pipe because that is something new. And even though it's only for like the diamonds, I still have a few diamonds in my collection. So I thought it was good for something for me to pick up. And plus in my area, it was only 10 bucks. So why not? So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and look at that. We'll go ahead and move this out the way. Um, when you order it, it came literally just like this. So there's no box. Um, it's in this little sanitary plastic bag. Um, yeah, pretty much just a metal pipe. Oh, there we go. Um, these look a little, oh, this one folds out for, I guess, the mustructions. Um, I got an apparatus because as you see, besides the pen itself, you can use the converters to store ink in the pipe. Okay, and we'll get this open as well. I did get the spring-loaded one. It's actually very resistant this feels very secure and this plastic feels very thick like i can't even squeeze it uh, not that i'm the strongest person but we'll take off the protection hmm. it's on there very tight and we will put it in and we will give this baby a test run um if this doesn't look medical grade, like a epidural for ink, I I don't know what does. However, let's not waste time. Let's get to inking. All right, starting with February. Um, I guess this is Waringle, a South Korean new stationary brand. Um, haven't heard of them. But I will say I'm cheating as the May edition came with this dip pen, which says it holds ink on the tip. So I will be using this instead of my regular dip pen and syringe, of course, Q-tips if needed. But I'm going to use a window pane stamp because I'm going to try to squirt the ink in the windows like stained art. made sense when I thought about it. I'm not going to show all of these, of course, because that would be too time consuming. And I try to keep it short, sweet, and to the point for you peeps that may have jobs and have to get to work tomorrow. I am utilizing, though, of course, the Twisby Ball. Got some water in there, and that will be my water reservoir. Because, of course, we're going to get our use out of this, right? Okay, so first thing I like to do, there are seven colors, so I only need to stamp twice because each color will be a different window 
and I'll use the dip pen to write the colors names. Okay. Quick rub a dub dub. Uh, we'll just do two windows side to side, right? Oh, maybe press a little bit. Looks good enough for me. Because once again, this is just swatches for me. Uh, first color is the mind. Um, for this one, it says they're named after literature. Um, I'm going to use my syringe. I'm not going to go quite full, just enough probably for the tube. And then I'm going to, oh, I thought it would splat more. Let's rinse that out. Yeah, not bad. Even with the water, I don't know if you can see how it feels, but once the water gets a little bit dirty, I'll cut seam to that so you can kind of see how it really goes. Yes, this was very thought out. Yes, very organized. Trying to wring out the syringe because now I think about it, maybe I should have bought multiple syringes. Once again, I'm going to press like halfway down, dip it in, get a little of the ink, and let's go. Oh, maybe I didn't have it dipped in all the way. Hmm. It's very smooth. Uh, some of the ink, though, unfortunately got into the tube on that one. But we'll rinse it out. Yeah, and you can kind of see it in the syringe. So this may not be the best way to ink swatch. Okay, okay, coming to you at the end of only the first ink swatch. I am done for the night. Um, This thing probably built by the devil himself. I, I'm, I'm not sure. I can write, but can you see the struggle writing? And I could not find my other dip pen. So um, pretty much I just struggled for like 30 minutes to even write the names of the ink after the swatches. So pretty much because of this wooden Pinocchio dip pen pirate that I'm going to definitely purge I'm done I'm not even going to do my other epoxies I can't take my other medication um I did however still want to follow up with a I guess kind of review of the syringe you know uh oh there's a little bit of ink in there still um I think this is pretty cool it will give you a lot of ink in your converter however for ink swatching not so much because i realized that i would actually have to clean it out between inkings and as you see there is still some green brown hmm. there we go maybe there uh, my amazing camera work as usual um but this syringe of a apparatus i think is cool um i don't mind having it in my collection maybe if i wanted to pick up ink i think it would be good for you know maybe if i spilled some inks oh no worries about that sucking it up from a piece of paper i may finish the other sheets however like i said spending 30 minutes trying to write common words on the struggle bus of we're going to call it uh pinocchio pirate pin of doom um however when i come back next time i will definitely do one pin focused versus ink focus but i hadn't been on in a while and um i just wanted to do something inky today you know I mean, it's been months since I've actually played with my ink versus just using my pens. So I appreciate you coming by um, and checking on me to make sure that I was well. Um, and side note, I actually am well. I was never ill at all. 
um, just pretty much work in school got the best of me and I didn't have too much time. So I pretty much just put my exploration fountain pen habits on hold, but I've still definitely been using my fountain pens because I love them. I love you too. Is this weird? Yep. It's about time for me to go then. So with that said, I bid you adieu and good night. All right, after much drama and thought later, I did end up finishing my inkings. Um, I forgot to highlight that I put a screamy face in that window because you know how I feel about that pen. So I did finish my four months of medication. I did the Van Diamonds. Um, notable would be Blue Ringed Octopus. I'm gonna try to go up and down so you can see the sheening and the shimmer and parrotfish. That actually one was beautiful as well. Might actually have to get those too. Um, the April one was an April puzzle. So the inks had letters but were missing the full name of the ink so I didn't um, feel like completing that so these inks will be a mystery and they were very smooth um, so I am kind of curious what they are but when I have more time and energy after my medication kicks in maybe I'll go ahead and uh, look those up uh, the ink flight for May however um very impressed with all of these inks so definitely happy i did continue as these are contenders for the collection um there was a leaky bottle catastrophe um but you know you know how i feel about inky fingers it's definitely a good thing um just wanted to cut scene and let y'all know that uh i am okay and I did not let Pinocchio Pirate get me down. Alright, this time bye for real. Good night.